We're going to connect positive and negative to the battery. Sometimes you have a problem where you're really not connected good here with your clamp. So one of the first things we do is take the probe end of the power probe. We see we got continuity, but what's the thing we really want to do to make sure we got good connections at the battery? Pop the breaker. Pop the breaker. He presses the power button, it popped, you see both lights came on, and now press that back in. Okay, take that off. Now let's check the fuses. So to check for a blown fuse, you see he has 12 volts there on one pin. If the fuse was blown, he wouldn't have 12 volts on the other pin. Now, not all fuses are on, check another fuse. You would have to make sure that the circuit is live uh, it goes one with ground. A bunch of them are grounds. So a bunch of them are ground, so that means those are not live. You may need the key on, engine off, before you condemn that fuse. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Key on, engine off, or key on, engine running. Stay on one where you get green. Don't move so quickly. All right. So there's green. Where's the other side? Both green. Now, watch your hands. Let's start this up, Solomon. Okay. Start it up. Start it up. Don't kill me. Yeah. Now, you notice... What happened? Power. Now go to the other side. Power. So that fuse right there, move that wire out of the way, um, Mike. That fuse right there has power now on both sides. Shut it off and put the key on. This was key on engine off. That's the engine. That's the ECM ignition. Okay, so see the key? Go to the other pin, Mike. Both on. See this, Solomon? Look. Yes. Both sides got power. Okay. Joe, go shut the key off for me, please. Now watch. With the key not on, watch what happens to what has power. See it went okay. to ground? Yes. Do both sides, Mike? Okay? All That's right. how you would test the fusion.